And well, let's dive into some, uh, you know, do you have anything you would like to share with your, <laughs> with your um, is, is that the segue into this? <laughs> yes. That is the segue into, uh, into well, your cool. next, uh, next segment there. Into my next thing. Okay. So I don't know what we're going to call this segment. If it's even got a name, maybe we'll come up with something fun. You guys, how about some, how about some ro- recommendations? Oh, that's absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and we're not using that <laughs> ever in the history of ever. No, so I, 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 so since you know, a lot of people know that I have a booth at San Diego Comic Con, so I deal with a lot of pop culture stuff outside of metal, but it also includes a lot of metal. Um, and one of the companies that I work with is a company called Z2 Comics, who specializes in doing and based comic books. So they did Cypress Hill and they've done uh, Iron Maiden and they've done Motorhead, and there's, there's a whole bunch that they've done that are really, really cool. But today I am uh, reviewing this lovely one, uh, which is the Iron Maiden uh, uh, graphic novel, which is really dope. It's based on the album Peace of Mind. So every story in here is uh, a different song uh, and basically a story written to each song. So each song has got each song basically has its own plot and everything. The artwork is fucking dope. It's got these really cool testimonials before each song. Uh, I mean, everybody from like, like Chris Jericho, I saw Michael Fassbender, uh, the guitar player from The Cure has one, you know, and uh, the stories are just really cool, just really cool and based on uh, based on each of the songs on the record. Um, if you're an Iron Maiden fan or, you know, I don't know how, sometimes I can't tell if our, if our show skews young, skews older, whatever, <laughs> but uh, if you know somebody who is a Maiden fan or you are, this is definitely well worth picking up. Um, there's also a deluxe edition which is like 150 bucks and then there's like an asylum edition that comes with like an eddie statue that's like 300 dollars um and it's like it's numbered and all that kind of stuff it's really cool and they come with like there's like a baseball card that's like prism and i mean it's crazy nonsense it's really dope though um but if you are into iron maiden this is definitely something to check out and definitely check out z2comics.com they have a, a ton of really awesome stuff they are coming out with a typo negative one um very soon that is super dope super super dope some of my favorite people are writers on it which i'm really excited about so um definitely something to check out like i said if you're not a maiden fan but you know someone who is this will definitely brighten up their day that is for sure and then uh speaking of maiden and other things con related comic con related so uh my buddies over at neca toys make the sickest stuff ever. <laughs> uh, so this is one of them, which is the uh, the new number of the Beast uh, uh, Eddie statue figure, which comes with like a, an open. Uh, it's got like a Velcro opening, so you can actually see what's inside. You know, which is dope. Uh, and it comes with like the crazy little devil with the huge mustache on there. <laughs> it comes. <laughs> it's super sick. It's the 40th anniversary version, so it's got this really dope. The deluxe one. It's even got Eddie holding his severed head and all. I mean, it's just so fucking rad. And uh, my buddy over at uh, at NECA, uh, Randy, who is uh, a massive, massive metalhead from way, way back in the day. I don't say way, way back. From way back in the day. Um, used to DJ on our, our college metal radio station in New Jersey called WSOU. What up, WSOU? Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so he is responsible for getting a lot of these really awesome ones made. Uh, he did the Scott Ian figure. He did the um, he did this one also. They also did this one, which is dope. This Freddie Mercury figure. You know, I mean, the, I mean, the the, the 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 sculpting is so insanely sick. And seriously, if you know anybody who is a, a, a Freddie Mercury fan, it's like, on the one hand, you could take this thing out and display it, and it would look sick. On the other hand, you could literally just keep it right in the packaging, and it still looks so amazing. And the sculpting is just top-notch. The people at NECA are ridiculous. Um, looks like we're going really way more old, skewing older than I – or young, I guess older than I thought. But we also have a Bon Scott from oh, ACDC nice. figure. I know it's kind of hard to see with all the glare. But uh, <laughs> same thing, man. It's like the detail on this is incredible. He's got soft goods, too, so it's like he's got like a – denim jacket and shit looks amazing um same thing man you know an acdc fan this is that's the type of thing that most fans aren't really thinking about until it comes to them and then they're just like holy shit i just never even considered this and it's definitely cool last thing uh last two things i should say uh is uh because we're going to be talking a little bit maybe about mr rob zombie but they put out this thing called the little big heads (laughs) 
nice. which are these really cool ultra di- like dynamic uh, of um, designed uh, figures. So this one's from House of a Thousand Corpses. It's got Baby and Captain Spaulding and Otis dressed up like a crazy satanic priest. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Uh, really cool. Um, and then <laughs> it's got Sherry Moon Zombie on there just looking like her. <laughs> it is the 20th anniversary though of this movie and i will say this like i i i'm a i'm a zo- i'm a rob zombie fan i'm a i'm a white zombie fan um i love house of a thousand corpses but unfortunately i'm not a huge fan of any of rob's other movies um but this movie definitely terrified the shit out of me when i watched it because i was like yo this is this is like crazy sadistic crazy horror um but i thought it was so dope uh, in the end, but I thought the rest of the movies were kind of garbage. But lastly, <laughs> lastly, from NECA, All right. we have this little big head of the spook show Rob Zombie, complete with the uh, X carved in his head. Um, he looks like he glows in the dark, but I don't think he does. But it is it is really cool. Definitely, like I said, if you're a zombie, fa- if you're a Rob Zombie fan, this is definitely something you got to have. And the cool thing about it is that. These little big heads aren't crazy complicated with all these extra pieces and everything. So it makes for a really cool, just kind of a desk piece that you could just kind of boop, just right on the side. But what I also like to do with stuff like this is uh, I'll use a, a, what's it called? Like fishing wire. And I'll, I'll make these into like Christmas ornaments. Okay. You know, so he's only about five inches tall. So he'll even be perfect if you put it, want to put him as a star on top of your tree, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> so, but that's what I really love about these. But if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can go to places like Target and Walmart. Go to entertainmentearth.com. They range between thirty and sixty dollars uh, for these. I mean, the three pack is like sixty bucks, but most of them fall within the like, thirty to forty range. So they're not crazy expensive, but uh, but definitely really cool stuff. And uh, I want to thank NECA and Z two for uh, for 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 uh, giving us some cool shit to review. <laughs> 